Here's a very special case of face portraits and anticipated solutions. Our ODE is dy dt equals s, where s is a constant. First, let's plot dy dt versus y when s is positive, negative, and zero. Because s is a constant, the face plot will look like a bunch of straight lines above, below, and on the x-axis, respectively. Next, we find the fixed points. We see that we only have a fixed point when s equals 0. When s is greater or less than 0, we don't have any fixed points because they don't intersect the x-axis. So, we only need to worry about the s equals 0 case. But what exactly is our fixed point? There are actually infinitely many fixed points when s equals 0, since any y0 will be on the x-axis. Even though s equals 0 doesn't technically cross the x-axis, we still consider it to have fixed points. Now we want to determine the stability of the fixed points associated with s equals 0. We draw right arrows in between fixed points where dy dt is positive and left arrows where dy dt is negative, but that doesn't really apply here since the line s equals 0 doesn't contain any positive or negative regions. But because we have infinitely many fixed points, each point is stable. See if you can figure out that logic. We're done with the face plot, so all that's left is the anticipated solution. In the first two examples, we drew curves trending towards or away fixed points in our anticipated solution plots. I didn't really mention this, but I drew curves because I knew y of t contained curvature. The first example had dy dt equals negative y plus 2. I don't know y of t just from looking at that equation, but I know that dy dt contains a first order term y, so the antiderivative y of t must have a second order term. Therefore, I drew the anticipated solution with curvature because I knew y of t contains some parabolic looking shape. But in this example, dy dt contains a zero with order term s. When you integrate that, you'll get a first order term, which is just a line, so we can't have curves in our face portrait because that would inaccurately portray the true shape of y of t. And let's just pick an arbitrary initial condition, why not? Let's look at the first case, s is greater than 0. According to the face portrait, dy dt is constant and positive, so y of t must have a slope that's constant and positive. This is just an upward sloping diagonal line. Now for the s equals 0 case. According to the face portrait, dy dt is 0 everywhere, so y of t must have a slope which reflects that. This is just a straight line. And finally, the s is less than 0 case. According to the face portrait, dy dt is constant and negative everywhere, which means y of t is a downward sloping diagonal line. This is a very special case and will probably be the weirdest ODE you'll have to sketch. I recommend re-watching this video to let the concepts fully sink in. See you soon.